What's up guys, this is Share Talk and welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'll show you how I defeated Wyvern Stage 25 with Spear Users. And here I don't think it's that hard if you have been playing for a while and you have Matriarch, a support, especially Matriarch number 4, nothing bad will happen. If you can inherit P of Victory, even better, because this will buff Endurance to decrease damage taken from many attacks, also buff STR, the main attribute for damage for Spear Users, and also having P of Protection to heal and evade on specific moments. Well, I am using the Rising Phoenix EX formation, well, to decrease chance of being inflicted with stun, and I have Natalie on the center with a spear based on water element. I inherited Ring of Life with even extra healing, that's overkill, I know. Uh, she can use Mudgy March to debuff all status and apply defense down, and this skill here is very useful, can be used two times. And Natalie, when gets hit, and when she attacks, she has a uh, chance to recover when being attacked, the guaranteed chance to heal when she's attacking. So, pretty strong character to have in the center. Not really necessary. Matriarch by herself is enough. I have here Barry Brownie that was released alongside Poke and Liz Banner. Many people have her by accident. She's actually pretty strong when she gets through overdrive. Will do lots of damage. Merlot Syrah, a very famous character, can be used here uh, with Inheritance of Play. And then just use Assault when it's on overdrive, and another character that works here is Subir, because he can use his Ocean Vortex Spear that is fast, and then Water Javelin when you don't have enough PP. Well, here we have Defend versus Slash by using Gauntlets. Use that with all of your characters, check those that need to resist in order to trigger passives. If you don't have these characters, well, let's talk about some replacements. Shaw works super fine here. Dantar also works. Vagnus, Final Emperor, Epaminondas, Four news in the center is also a very good counter. Uh, there is also Laura, uh, Nadart, Minerva and her replacement. Even Korean Hield can work. I think there's way too many replacements for this scenario, but let's go with my squad. Okay, so the fight will start and we will save a little first with Natalie already using Mudging March to the buff, decrease damage taken. Fairy doesn't have a fast attack. You can see that it's not fast. So for now, I will just use Insight Needle to get into Overdrive. She has a chance to get into Overdrive. Merlitzara, we will use Play and Subir, we use Water Javelin first. Water Javelin will decrease the resistance of the enemy to Pierce and Cold. Got a combo that will debuff more. Yeah, we already debuffed an Endurance, it will be debuffed even more. I think Wyvern will not like this, and we'll use the Fire Weakness on the next turn. Yeah, when you use Play, you deflect. Now he will attack Natalie, and if you don't have Natalie, even the original Mariah is good enough to use it here, because she will have chances of triggering the healings. Yeah, use it in Fire Weakness, like I said. That's okay, let's move to the second turn. We didn't get uh, Overdrive with... Brownie yet, so Aqua Lunge. Another Insight Needle for now. You know, Victory. I can already start using a Salt, but maybe not. Let's just use something like Lightning Loop that buffs STR for now. And Subir. He can already use Ocean Vortex Spear. Let's use another Water Javelin. You could also use the Godspeed Stance Formation, but I think that if you are using Natalie, it's better to use Formation that draws more enemy attacks. Although they uh, <laughs> are not always attacking Natalie. Seems like no one got into overdrive on this turn, so we can use some fast attacks and everyone else will just stay there. Yeah, let's stay there. <laughs> I think I'll just use a normal now. You know, victory. Uh, I can also use another play. This will increase my damage further. And I will use Ocean Vortex Spear since it's the last time that I have 20 BP. That's good damage. Turn it ours way too many single target attacks, not many AoE.
Brawny didn't get into overdrive yet. Now Muji March. Uh, Fairy Breeze Lancer now. You know, victory, and I can use a salt. I think it's okay to use now. And yeah, we should vortex spear, why not? Now, Sop does a lot of damage when you are on overdrive. Okay, she got into overdrive on the turn. Get again later. Everyone is on overdrive. I will actually use this overdrive. So let's go. Even through turn 6, it has defense now. Let's use another Fairy Breeze Lancer. Salt. And Vortex Spear. Okay. You got the uh, Chase Attack with Fairy. Whoa, that's insane damage. Yes, it is. If Fairy gets into overdrive via her passive, we can win by turn six. Oh, she just did. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's awesome then. That's the end of the fight, guys. Overdrive, Fairy Breeze Lancer. As you can see, her damage was insane. Everyone else would not hit because whatever, and we will evade, but it doesn't matter. Fairy will kill. Same attack again. Even higher damage because we stack it. And three hits. Awesome. Well, that's also the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. If you want to support the channel, we have links on the description like Patreon, PayPal, and Coffee buttons. See you later on the next one. Bye.